So we record these worship services at home. So just as a, as a note uh, about this next um, sermon, um, what you don't see on camera is that, uh, is that there are actually five people in the room. My, my parents have come to uh, stay with us for a couple months over the winter to help out uh, while Ailish is not in daycare. Um, and so we were all down in the kitchen trying to, to record a sermon uh, last night. So what follows is going to be the edited version. Uh, and then uh, I think as a, as a postlude to the service, we'll put in the unedited uh, version because it, it was quite a thing. The rain streamed down, the story goes. It slashed and swirled and washed all the colors from the world. Breaking bread is magical. In that story, why did all of the animals feel like they were shining? I don't think it was because the bread was magical. I think the magic is in coming together. Because while the sun paints the day, so do we. This is a strange year. 2020 is a strange year. So much of this holiday is about traditions, and, and this year, many of the traditions that we have done year after year after year are missing. But as Richard Blanco reminds us in the reading this morning, there's no one right way to do Thanksgiving. It can be turkey and cranberry sauce, or Celia Cruz and rum, fried yucca and pork, or sunbread. No, no. This is a year where a whole lot of traditions have changed. But the heart of the holiday is still this. At the beginning of winter, as the harvest comes in and the weather turns cold, what is it that you're thankful for? Because just that, just that, saying in the midst of this cold and lonely season, we will name what we love and give thanks for it. That is a countercultural statement. Speaking just for myself, uh, two weeks ago, uh, as cases increased here in Lincoln, we pulled Ailish out of daycare. And part of it's been hard, a lot of it's been hard. But it's also meant that I have been able to spend two or three day, two or three hours a day with my daughter. Just she and I, uninterrupted in all her two and three quarters glory. That is precious time. But even though it was caused by this virus, even though it makes me slow to respond to my work emails, it's time that I'm thankful for. And I give thanks for all of you. We have never done this before. I don't think any church up until 2019 has decided on a week's notice to go fully online. We didn't know if we could do it. We had no idea how to do it. We still don't most weeks. We didn't know if you would all come with us. You have, and you've continued as a community. And as much as things change, this remains mostly the same community that it was a year ago. And that is a precious thing. So the bread is done. In years past, we've marked this day by baking bread by breaking bread together in the sanctuary. We have changed one syllable this year, so we are baking bread. It's another thing that's changed. But, as we have sun bread, for now, take a moment. Maybe with the people you live with, maybe just with yourself. Take some bread and say a short prayer of thanks. We give thanks for our health, for this place, and for each other. And we give thanks for all of those working to make sure that next year we give thanks together in person. Amen. Amen.